I'm in a 2013 Renault Kangoo Maxi, the long wheelbase van with a 22 kilowatt hour battery. So being a 2013, it's five years old now. And uh, if I just scroll around on the dash, the van has done, uh, where are we, surface due. There, it's done 23,000 miles. I'm currently in Tetbury and I'm going to drive to Oxford and do a range test. So um, the van is fully charged. It is currently showing a range of 59 miles, but of course that's only a guess. The range meter is wildly inaccurate in these. However, this one is a little bit more accurate now because I have driven to Tetbury this morning. Um, and obviously uh, it, it reflects wheel driving now. So um, it's predicting a range of 59 miles. So we'll see how we go. Just a quick update. I've stopped in Sirencester uh, in the town centre here, very pretty. So been driving only about uh, 10 minutes or so and I've done 10.6 miles. And as you can see on the um, battery here, effectively the fuel tank, it's come down to the first bar already so um, the point of me doing this video is just to show you real world range of these kangoo vans so an initial thought you think oh god we've lost that much in only 10 minutes of driving but that is one eighth of the tank um, because it's a quarter of a quarter of a tank uh, sorry it's half of a quarter of a tank so if we've done 10 miles using an eighth it means the tank is going to be 80 miles i don't think we're going to quite get 80 miles out of this because it is a five-year-old one and obviously the battery won't be at a hundred percent state of health but it's that is exactly what you'd expect and i've just driven this uh, ten and a half miles um at a steady 50 to 55 mile an hour i was keeping up with all the traffic it's an a road all the way between tetby and siren and um i wasn't driving slow at all Obviously, um, as you can see over there, um, no, I don't think you can see because of the sun. There we go. Uh, oh, it's gone off um, because I'm in park, but I am in eco mode. On the Kangoo, the switch is down here and you can put in eco mode. For normal sort of driving, unless you want to drive at motorway speeds, you really can't tell any difference with an eco mode. It just dulls the power a bit um, and it helps to maximise your range. But for it's normal driving, I'd recommend to drive in eco all the time. It's perfectly adequate. So I will carry on my drive. Just a little update. I've just left Lechlade, now done 24.1 miles. As you can see, the battery meter is spot on. Um, if each one of these segments is roughly 10 miles, we've done 24, so it's just over there. So it's, it's doing as you would expect. Generally, I find that the battery drops quicker in the first half and a little bit slow in the second half but I'll keep an eye on that as I do this drive but so far you know we've done 24 miles and it's just past the quarter of a tank so um, it's about spot on and I'll just scroll round to the range now is predicted at 47 miles range left and I should have reset the average Consumption. Let me just scroll around and see what it's currently saying. Average is doing 20, uh, 2.22 miles per kilowatt hour. I should have reset that before I started, so we'll ignore that because that's not a fair um, estimate of what we're actually doing because it could have included some previous bad driving history there. So I'll carry on on the journey. So here I am in Oxford now, right in the heart of the city. I've driven into uh, Broad Street in the heart of the city. There's the Sheldonian Theatre. So looking down here on the dash, I've done 48.3 miles. And as you can see, it's just over the halfway mark on the tank, um, on its way down to quarter of a tank. So at 48 miles, that's rounded up to 50 miles we'll get there, so we can almost say that is 10 miles a segment per, um, well 20 miles per quarter of a tank, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, so it is pretty accurate. Um, so when you're driving a, a, um, a Kangoo van, if you just sort of assume, you know, this is in the summer, in good driving conditions, assume that every 
mark on the fuel gauge is 10 miles, that will prove to be pretty accurate. Um, the whole trip uh, has been um, quiet roads and I've done maximum speed limit all the way. So um, obviously there was about five villages I think I drove through. So at those times dropped down to 30 or 40 miles an hour. The rest of the way uh, had a speed limit of 50. So I did exactly 50. Um, there was about three miles of dual carriageway around Kingston Bank Puce and then again about five miles as you drop down on the A420 uh, onto the Oxford Ring Road. Uh, again dual carriageway there was no speed limit. I did on those bits um, I didn't do 70 I was doing 60. I was doing well 58 to 60 all the way um, and it was the speed that the traffic was allowing. It, it, in all the cases I was doing normal driving speed and uh, no one overtook me apart from a couple of people overtook me on the dual carriageway sections. All the other time, uh, I didn't have any more than one car behind me. I was doing normal speeds and I was coming up behind other cars in front. So I wasn't maxing this out at all. I wasn't driving particularly economic. I, was, I had it in eco mode all the time. And um, the key with driving electric vehicles is drive like you got no brakes. Um, which in the same way with a petrol car, if you were to drive a petrol car like you've got no brakes um, and you're, you're more, you, you sort of coast up to junctions a bit more, um, obviously with an electric vehicle you're going to be using the regen then, uh, but brakes waste energy. So um, obviously with the Kangoo van they've got fantastic regen, like the Citroen and the Bilingo van, they've got very strong regen. It is genuinely one pedal driving. I know Nissan are making a big fuss about the new one pedal on the new Leaf but these vans have been out since 2012 and they've had it all the time um, and all this 50 miles I've just driven I've genuinely only touched the brake pedal twice um, to slow down that was once on a roundabout where I approached it a bit fast and I wasn't paying attention and again dropping down a long slope to the Oxford Ring Road I had to brake because there was a bit of traffic there all other times, the only time I've touched the brake is to hold it when I've already stopped. I've stopped every time just on regen. And that's how you maximise your range. And you can genuinely get reasonable mileage out of these. So I've still got a bit more left to go. I've driven uh, about 15 miles into Oxford past my house to get here. So I'm going to turn around now and drive back. And we'll catch up when I'm home. So I've got back home, still got, well I, I've actually got home and left again. I'm going to drive out this um, remaining range. So uh, it's got nine miles of range left and still got one eighth of the tank left. So I'm going to drive this out and then look at the stats and we'll see what we've got. I've just pulled up here. We've got eight miles on the range and the low battery light has just come on with a, uh, a warning uh, chime. One thing to note though, uh, for every mile I'm losing here, I'm actually doing about two and a half miles at the moment. I'm driving at a steady 40 miles an hour, um, so the range isn't dropping quite as low as it would seem. Um, and while we're here, I'll just show you, there's a hot air balloon just landing right next to me. There's another one over there. And then we've got two others over there. He was very low and just sort of skimmed the crops and off he went. And uh, a few miles back I just passed about uh, four or five. Um, I'm not sure whether they're landing or taking off. But uh, he's just about to come across the road very low in front of me. Let me um, open my window. Yeah, I saw this guy a few miles down the road taking off. It's a single seater balloon. Uh, no basket, he's just sitting on a seat there. 
So the range meter here got down to either four or three miles and then went straight to the lines. It doesn't uh, predict any lower than the three or four miles. I didn't have my eye on it, whether it actually got to three, I'm not quite sure. But certainly it was on four. Um, and at that sort of, um, at that range, it was a lot more accurate. The five and four mile markers, it was doing a mile per mile on the range meter. So whereas before I was getting two, two and a half miles, it then, as, as the battery gets less, it does get more accurate. So we've still got a little bit left in the tank here, so I'll drive another few miles until the turtle mode comes on, and then obviously I'll stop and go in and charge. So I've done another mile or so. As you can hear, it's now beeping constant, well not constantly, but it's now beeping more frequently, and the battery light is now flashing. I hadn't actually realised I wasn't in eco mode so for the last 10 miles or so I've been driving in normal mode um, every time you turn the ignition off it defaults back to normal mode and you have to flip the eco switch and I haven't noticed so that hasn't helped too much but anyway it's obviously getting very low turtle mode hasn't come on yet so I'm going to uh, obviously head back in now so the performance limited message has come up that happened about a mile ago so I've driven home now I'm not going to risk driving it any further so we can have a look at the miles. So we've done 73.2 miles. Uh, as I said before, most of this has been driving at 50. I have driven through Oxford. I did find actually driving in the city in Oxford, the, the range did drop a little bit more than I was expecting. So it certainly did seem more efficient driving at speed than it did at driving at the, in the city, which I was surprised. But when I was outside Farringdon, I reset the miles per kilowatt day gauge there. So from I've driven from Farringdon to Oxford, around Oxford, and back out to Kingston Bagpews, and then a few miles around in circles. And uh, most of that, obviously, Oxford bit was all at sort of 20 to 30, but the rest of it has all been at 50, well, I would say mostly 50, and some of it 60. Um, and I've averaged four miles per kilowatt hour, which isn't bad for a van. So, you know, very normal driving. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I've actually got my scanner with me. So I'm going to plug it into the diagnostic port. On the vans, the diagnostic port is here under this flap near the gear stick. And we're going to have a look at what the battery um, capacity is like and also the state of health. So I've just scanned the battery with my scanner in the diagnostic port down here. And bearing in mind that it is showing it's flat here, the scanner actually shows there is 9% uh, charge left in the battery, which that would make this range here actually 81 miles possible. But I would doubt whether you could do another um, What's that? Another uh, eight miles. I, I would suspect you couldn't actually do that eight miles. So while there is nine percent left, it's not nine percent usable um, capacity. I would imagine. Um, so I'm going to uh, charge it up, and when it's a hundred percent charge, we will see what the range is showing. So the range, obviously, there it is. Obviously, at the moment, is showing zero. So I've just plugged the van into the charger. These Kangoo vans have a 16 amp charger, which is 3.6 kilowatt. So it's predicting the it's going to take um, six hours and three quarters to charge it. it. It was actually predicting seven hours when I plugged it in, and it dropped that 15 minutes in only about a minute. So they're not particularly accurate. I suspect it's going to lose that other 45 minutes fairly soon. Um, but it gives you an idea so typically overnight charging only so you have that daily range of around 70 miles so if your if your round is um, within 70 miles then these vans work really well and you charge it overnight every day you got a full tank of, of electrons and uh, it works out incredibly cheap to run so it's the morning after the battery is now fully charged as you can see it's showing at 100% the range meter is predicting a range of 68 miles, so obviously that's uh, quite conservative. 
and last night I was hoping to get a battery state of health figure from the scanner but uh, it wasn't giving one. So this morning I've plugged in a Bluetooth dongle into the diagnostic port and using the CAN-Z app it shows the battery state of health is 103% which means the battery is all good on this one. So I hope you find this video helpful. It does give you a true reflection of what the real world range of a 22 kilowatt hour long wall based kangoo van is. In summer weather, um, good driving conditions. I didn't have air conditioning on because this van didn't have any air conditioning, didn't have the fans on. Not that the fans would use any energy because that uses the 12 volt battery. But I did have the driver's window half the way down all the way. And most of my driving, what was I, I was driving for uh, two hours, I would have, yeah, a good two hours. Um, obviously city driving very slow and takes up a lot of the time, but in mileage terms, um, a good 80% of that was driving at 50 miles an hour or more. So um, it's a realistic um, driving, real world driving to show you what these kangoos can do. I hope you find that useful.